Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dippin here, Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today we're gonna do a quick walk around of a 2022 Winnebago 1808 FBS. Super awesome camper. If you're looking for something under 4,000 pounds, dual axle, can sleep up to maybe four people. Um, this is the camper for you. Uh, so we're gonna do a quick walk around. Uh, we'll get you on the outside, we'll get you inside, and we'll see what you think. So write down my number, it is 218-740-4964. Let me know what you think. Um, shoot me a text, shoot me a call, happy to answer any questions you have for you. But like I said, this is an awesome camper, under 4,000 pounds dry, um, dual axle, a lot of awesome benefits to this camper. Um, so let's get started here right up front with this beautiful front fiberglass front cap from Winnebago. Just looks sharp. It's going to be solid. Um, aerodynamic going down the road. You got a nice rock guard right down here as well for the protection from all the road uh, debris that might kick up onto your camper. You got two 20 pound LP tanks on board. Let me just double check here. Uh, two 20 pound LP tanks. We're going to fill those before you take off. You got power tongue jack up front as well. Um, you're also going to have a spot where we're going to put our um, 27 deep cycle uh, battery with the battery box that is all included in the deal. Uh, no hidden fees here at Bullion RV. Um, like I said, Winnebago, quality build. I mean, look at these slam latch baggage doors. Thick, held up by magnets. You also got solar on the side, so you can add an extra solar panel to combat with the one that is on the roof. You got 190 watts on the roof already. I mean, look at that pass-through storage in this unit. I mean, short unit, 22 feet. I mean, 4,000 pounds, storage upon storage. You got one slide on this unit with a really nice dinette in there, so we'll show you that when we get inside. Coming around the back corner here, you got an outdoor shower to spray off the kids, the bikes, uh, the pets, anything you want going on here. Black tank flush, hookups for the cable. Um, 30 amp service on this unit. On the back side of this unit, you're gonna see you got a full spare tire back here as well. Spot for a backup camera right up top. You're prepped for the Voyager backup camera. You've got a ladder to the fully walkable roof. You also have what I really like what Winnebago does is give you this white light here. So it's got a reverse light. Most of the trailers and campers just have the red tail lights for the brake lights. Winnebago goes above and beyond and throws you that white light. So if you're at the campground, you are backing it up. Um, you might have that one neighbor who's been there for a little bit already, kind of been relaxing, sees you backing up because the white lights, uh, the tail lights, he comes over, gives you a hand. So you might not even need a backup camera. You know, you might have a, a guy like that, which might be really nice. Um, also down here, you're going to have a little receiver hitch, throw a rack, you know, a rack you might want to throw a generator on, a couple extra coolers, uh, so, you know, or throw a bike rack back here, but you got 150 pound capacity to throw um, a rack back here too. So that's really awesome. Now on the front side, the camp side of the camper here, you can see you got this beautiful awning right up front. You got LED strips that run under the awning, so you're gonna have some really nice ambiance at night. You got outdoor speakers out here. If you wanted to pop a TV so you don't miss your favorite game or have a movie night because it's beautiful, pop some popcorn outside. Um, you can have a spot to do that with the appropriate hookups and everything right here from cable to power. You have a spray port out front as well. Um, again, to spray off you know, your stairs or kind of clean things off. If you wanted to make this a little outdoor kitchen space because you do have your gas port right down here as well for your LP so you can bring a grill and kind of make this a nice little cooking space out here under the awning. Um, also a really nice feature on the smaller unit you got uh, power stabilizer jacks. Just push button those are going to drop down so again just really convenient of what the Winnebago is. Um, I mean look how short this guy is and right down here you got the dual axle aluminum rims um, tucked up under here too, you have another protective uh, metal plate in case there was maybe a blowout. You do have that extra protection that Winnebago throws at you as well. So that's awesome there. Um, this side of the pass-through storage, 
you can see this door is a lot wider so you can fit a lot more things in here you see i'm really impressed so we'll just kind of throw you in here too you also have the push puck light to give you some light in case you get to the campground a little later all right we'll bring you inside up these solid step stairs from lippert which are really nice nice grab handle it is one of those fold away ones so when you go down the road you'll be able to lock it Right as you walk in, you're gonna have your convenience center, your slides, your awnings, um, your water heaters, tank heaters, all that stuff here, your entry lights, and then to be able to check all your tanks and battery, everything right as you walk in. You got your TV, you got your JBL sound system, um, you got your wireless phone charger right as you walk in. Little storage as well. Nice spot for a little catch-all. You know, in case you're out in the back country doing something, taking photos, maybe a nice spot for a camera to kind of store some of that stuff right as you walk in the door. Nice little kitchen in here with the counter extension. Give you a little extra space. Pull down faucet. One big stainless steel farm style sink, sink here, excuse me. Uh, three burner cooktop. Um, what Winnebago has done too is taken away the oven and give you this nice big storage drawer, which is going to be really nice and convenient. Um, you never have enough storage, or you could always use one more drawer, so Winnebago gives it to you. Fuse box, breaker box right down below. And how they take care of the oven is giving you a convection microwave. So if you're going to have a microwave, might as well give you a dual purpose microwave and then another storage area, which is going to be awesome. Turn around, you got your dinette. You could probably fit, you know, two smaller folks on here. You know, if you're grandparents, bring a couple grandkids, um, or if you're just a couple and somebody else wanted to come, you would have a spot for maybe one adult on here comfortably, two if they want to tuck in tight for the weekend. Um, definitely two kids. What I really like is you got this, uh, no obstructions with the bars under here anymore. You got this quick release latch down here. You just flop that table will just drop down really nice and easily turn that into the bed and then in the morning you don't got to find those bars pop them in you can just pull the bed up click that back in and you're ready for breakfast right down below really good storage under the seats on both sides you do have a really nice window in the back and then up in the ceiling you do have usb chargers so really nice convenient push puck light right above it um, what I love about this unit, nice big fridge. Usually smaller units like this, you're gonna get those little dorm style fridges. Um, but this is gonna give you the full 10.2 cubic foot, uh, just electric fridge, so it makes it a lot bigger. We just plugged this unit in maybe five, 10 minutes ago, and the freezer is getting cold already. So really efficient, really big, really great. Really lets you get you off. Runs off your truck going down the road so you don't have to run the gas. I mean, just a couple great features with the new electric fridges. Right to the left of the fridge, you have this really nice pantry. If you wanted to, you could take this board out and you can turn this space into a wardrobe hanging space, put a couple clothes in there. You know, Casa Hotels are just getting up there. So, you know, if you got a buddy's wedding a ways away, you really want to save some money, you could even do this. Hang your suit coats up in there. Maybe kind of, you can fold the dress in half. I don't know how those really work and travel, but you know, you can make it happen. You could use this instead of a hotel, which would be really nice. Up above the bed, you got a lot of really good storage as well. All these doors are gonna be held up on their own, which is nice. And what I like is this passes through all the way. So there's no obstruction in the middle. If you have some longer items, you can always put those up in there um, and you don't have to worry about having to kind of fold those in half you do have the east to west bed in here so you do have to kind of crawl over or if it's just one person uh, but really nice bed windows on both sides um, little mesh on the side to maybe put a remote in there or your devices in there you do have the usb right up in the corner as well and then a nice another push puck light for a light right above the bed in case you're doing some reading or anything at night uh, right down below, you do have some power down here too. I mean, and if you wanted to tuck your, you know, phone or the little device, you got a little kind of catch-all table right there. Maybe a nice, you put your phone there, maybe a little water bottle at night. Um, other thing I like about this unit, 
you have a little storage under the bed too. It's a little door storage under the bed, which is super great. JBL speakers in the ceiling, JBL speakers outside. You got that going on. You got your furnace right below the refrigerator here. So a nice little unit like this, get that cooking. You're gonna heat this little space up real fast. I'm gonna bring you back into the bathroom. What I like about this camper um, is you get everything in the bathroom. You get the full dry bath. You get your toilet in the corner, a nice small little shower with the sky dome. You got a little medicine cabinet here. Um, you got a sink in here. The sink's not in the shower. You got your own separate sink, brushing your teeth, um, plug-ins. You got your lights, a little bit of storage under it. So it's not a giant bathroom, but it does take care of everything that you're gonna need. Um, so if you need to use this bathroom, you got a nice dry bath. You got the fan right up in here. So with this smaller space, if you are taking a hotter shower, you can open that up, try to get some of the steam out. So you're not bringing all that moisture into the camper, which is, I mean, what a great feature in a nice small unit like this. Also, it's right up the stairs as you come in the unit. So if you're outside, you're not tracking through the unit, you're right into the bathroom, right back outside. And little little towel racks, clothes hangers, things like that in the unit as well. So really great features. Cabinets up above the sink, windows above the sink that open. Just a lot of great stuff going on in here. So we'll give you one quick more little pan here. Again, my name is Kyle Dimon. I'm here at Bullion RV. I can do whatever I can to give you a hand, help you out. Um, I know you love this camper because you clicked on it, you wanted to see it. Please shoot me a call at 218-740-4964. I'm here to help. We're here in Duluth, Minnesota. Give us a call. We'll talk soon.